I don't know why Trudeau is squawking and Ralph Goodale is squawking. They're the ones who said they love guys like this. They're all welcome. As you said, a Canadian's a Canadian is a Canadian. I'm not quite sure why Ralph Goodale and Justin Trudeau are angry about this. Britain's following its law and Trudeau is, you know, enjoying his cake that he baked. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I saw a quote from Ralph Goodell where he said, uh, investigating, arresting, charging, and prosecuting any Canadian involved in terrorism or violent extremist, extremism is our number one priority. And I, I thought to myself immediately, well, we've had 60-odd Canadians travel abroad, at least 20 that the government's admitted to come home, some of them bragging, lots of them with social media that demonstrated not only that they were there, that but that they were fighting mm -hmm. on behalf of a terrorist entity, whether it was Al Qaeda affiliated or or the Islamic State, um, and they've done nothing to bring those folks to justice. So you know, here we have somebody that that went over for, not from Canada, meaning some of our laws won't even apply to them, uh, but from the United Kingdom in 2014, and denies fighting for either al-Qaeda or ISIL, uh, but has admitted to fighting for some sort of rebel group that, that was against the Syrian military. Um, so, you know, I'm really not sure, you know, why Mr. Goodale seems to think that it's a good thing to say we're going to do all these things when he hasn't done it with those terrorists we could easily have convicted that are back here walking around and bragging, um, but thinks that that if somehow this jihadi Jack character gets back here, that that they can convince Canadians that their intent would be to, to arrest and prosecute him. Yeah, I mean, uh, there was a very famous case of a of a terrorist murderer in Canada who bragged about it in a interview with the New York Times. Um, they have a reporter there who specializes in these returning uh, jihadis, and this Canadian terrorist couldn't stop talking. Um, my read of the Canadian law is crystal clear. We don't have to prove that they murdered anyone, that they raped anyone overseas. It would be uh, legally impossible to do that according to our traditional standards of uh, procedure in, in court. But as long as we know they they tried to, they did aid or tried to aid or did go or tried to go over there. Um, there are any number of those precursor crimes that are enough to put terrorists away. Uh, the fact that Trudeau and Goodale, as far as I know, Liam, I mean, you tell me if you've heard of one. I have never heard of a prosecution of any of these ISIS returnees. And like I say, you don't have to prove they actually raped anyone. That would be impossible. You just have to prove that they were over there to help Al Qaeda. You don't even have to prove that they joined then that's enough to convict a terrorist. Have you ever heard of a prosecution in Canada? Maybe I missed one. No, no. In fact, uh, if anything, some of these would have been fairly simple as, as the government has records of their departure. They have cooperating entities, whether it's Turkey, whether it's the United Arab Emirates, where people uh, stopped along the way, in some cases, Lebanon. Uh, you have social media posts that have been captured um, and screenshot it to, to demonstrate that they were there, that they were bragging, that they were attempting to recruit other Canadians, that they were burning passports and, and uh, uh, saying they were no longer Canadian, uh, that they were members of the Islamic State. A and no prosecutions have taken place. In fact, as far as I can tell, there's been no charges laid, so no, not even an attempt to prosecute has, has occurred in Canada. That's an excerpt from the Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a video monologue and then I interview an interesting guest and then I end by reading my hate mail, but you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at therebel.media slash shows.